Let's look at a couple of administrative tools that will help you uh, with managing your deployment. So the first thing we're, first thing we're going to take a look at is the firmware upgrade. So when you upload configuration to your device, you do have the option of upgrading the firmware. And um, the second part, we can check what firmware is currently on the AP. If you click on the AP itself, go to configure, device configuration. And you see, okay, we're running the latest and greatest. Um, this is where you can also change the host name. So let's do that, actually. Let's name this AP Lab so we no longer use the default name. Uh, and it's always a good idea to give access points meaningful names. For example, the name that would correspond to its location or sequence or something similar. So let's do that. Let's update the device. So when you click update, either when you do a network policy update or from the device itself, um, you can upgrade the Hive OS image. And you can either upgrade to a specific version and you select that version from the drop-down menu. You have access to the release nodes from here as well. Or you simply upgrade to the latest and greatest. So uh, we've all, we're already using 10.0 R7, so we'll use that. Remember, when you do a firmware upgrade, the uh, device will reboot. And you can identify a device upgrading its firmware if you see the amber LED light on the uh, AP blinking. Uh, when that happens, the access point is actually updating its firmware image. The other thing we're going to take a look at is a tool called VLAN Probe. So there's multiple utilities available, uh, for example, radius test. So you can trigger a radius test from the AP and check whether the radius uh, server is up and running. Um, and the second thing is a VLAN probe. And what VLAN probe does is uh, we're going to check whether which VLANs are actually available on the upstream infrastructure uh, of our network. So uh, we'll select this AP to run the VLAN probe. Click on the VLAN probe and we'll check the VLANs 1 to 10. For each VLAN we're going to do one retry. We'll wait for three seconds to see if we get any uh, DHCP offers and let's Test this out. So the access point is now initiating a VLAN probe. And it's going to go through all 10 VLANs to see if the upstream inf infrastructure actually has those VLANs properly configured. So VLAN 1, it's available. And this is the subnet that we see. VLAN 2, also available. This is now our new management subnet. That's how we change it in the lab. We have VLAN 5, also available. Now let's check from 5 to 10 as well because it's timed out too soon. Okay, so we have VLAN 5 and we have VLAN 8 available as well. So this is how you can use VLAN Probe uh, to quickly troubleshoot your upstream infrastructure, your wired infrastructure, your DHCP servers, <clears throat> switch port configuration, or trunks, and similar. And finally, if we go under global settings, and we go under VIQ management, there's a couple of things that uh, might be useful in day-to-day a, a -day management. Uh, one is you can back up your configuration. And the configuration backups will be visible in this uh, table down here. And then you can restore to a specific point in time. You can clear your Extreme Cloud IQ in instance. So you basically reset it to default, delete everything that's within it. And you can also import and export the current configuration of Extreme Cloud IQ by using the import and export, export function. So these might be useful when uh, you are um, either migrating on where, where you are testing and um, you want to then uh, go from testing phase to deployment phase and start from scratch. So we do give you all of those options in here.
Finally, let's check the log portion of our Extreme Cloud IQ instance. So in the logs, let's check all the audit logs. The audit logs will contain uh, all the configuration, so all the logs are associated with administrative accounts logging in and doing any sort of admin tasks on uh, our setup. So let's sort this by time. And you will see, for example, in here that we granted access to an external user, which we did in one of the previous labs, uh, where we granted access for an external user who then logged in. And then we revoked access for this external user. And for each of the users that are logging in, you have the complete visibility into what they were doing. So, for example, here, which configuration has been changed? Which devices were we deploying configuration to? Um, have any of the credentials been revoked? Uh, have any new hierarchies been created and so on? So you have complete visibility into what's going on within your organization. For PPSK authentication, you will also see all the authentication logs. So anything to do with authenticating users within Extreme Cloud IQ, you'll have all the authentication logs and accounting logs in here. And for any PPSK related activities like distributing uh, PPSKs via email or SMSs, you will see those in email or in SMSs logs as well. So the, these are the logging capabilities of Extreme Cloud IQ and they give you a very thorough visibility into what was going on with your environment. Uh, and if, for example, uh, somebody else, you've given access some, to somebody else and they're logging in, you'll have complete transparency into what is going on and what they were doing on your network.